Now this is a problem uh, I've taken from uh, your workbook, level 2 learning workbook, this is on page 223. So those who want to refer your books, this is on page 223. This is question number 6. Okay. So what does the book, uh, what does the question say? Okay. A bookshop finds that one in three of its customers is male. It finds that 25% of male customers spend $20 or more per visit, while 40% of female customers spends 20 or more. Draw a, prob a tree diagram. Or probability tree diagram for this information so so you got first thing is you got male and female so this is how you start so you got male and female m for male f for female one in three so one out of three are male so two out of three are female okay it finds that 25 percent of the male so there are two groups of male. 25% uh, of the male spend $20 or more. So greater than equal to $20. So this is in dollars. And uh, less than 20. Spend $20 or more. That is greater. Or the other option is they spend less than $20. So out of the male, a quarter, 25% is a quarter, so one quarter of the male spend $20 or more. That means three quarter spends less than $20. Now what's the information for female? For female, uh, for female, 40% spend $20 or more. So $20 or more is spent by 40%. So 40% 40% is 40 out of 100. So let's write this in a fraction. 40 out of 100 is 4 out of 10, which is 2 out of 5. So this is 2 out of 5. So the other, uh, other female would be 3 out of 5, 60%. Spends less than $20. So this is a tree diagram. So again, male one out of three, so female would be two out of three. A, a quarter spends more than or equal to twenty dollars, so three quarters spends less than twenty dollars. Forty percent is two fifth spends greater than twenty dollars in female, so three fifth spend less than twenty dollars. So this is a tree diagram. Okay, so the first question. Okay, what is the first question? Uh, Find the probability that a customer will spend, a customer will spend, this is what we are answering, a customer will spend $20 or more per visit. So a customer can be a male or a female. So which branch are we interested in? We are interested in this branch. So this branch tells me the male who spend more than $20 and this branch is where the female spends more than $20. So if you find the probability of each of these branches, you have to multiply along the branches. So the probability would be 1 out of 3 times 1 quarter. This is 1 out of 12. And for this branch, this would be 2 out of 3 times 2 out of 5, which is 4 out of 15. So basically, if you want to find the probability of customers who spends $20 or more, it is basically the addition of this and this. So, so this is 112 plus 415. So 112 plus 415. So you can use a calculator. So this is, you can change this is out of 60. So I'm timesing this by 5. So it also multiply the top by 5. 5. And this I can change it into 60, so times it by 4, times it by 4. So this is 5 out of 60 
plus 16 out of 60, which is 21 out of 60. So you can divide by 3, which is, if you divide by 3, so this is 7 out of 20. Or in other words, if you want to write this as a percent, this is how much percent? If you want to write this as, this is 35 out of 100. So in other words, in terms of percentage, you can say 35% of the customers spends $20 or more per visit. Okay. The next is interesting question. Given that the customer spends $20 or more, so this is given per visit, what is the probability that the customer is male? So here you have to read it, read the question like this. Given that a customer spends $20 or more per visit, what is the probability that the customer is male who spends $20 or more? So this fact that spends $20 or more is given is basically. So this is called a conditional probability. This is called conditional probability. So what is the condition here? conditional probability so given is the condition so you have to first find what is this is out of this probability so this is what is actually why is why is it called conditional probability this probability what is this probability so let me read this again so probability that a customer is a male who spends twenty dollars or more out of this probability. So first let's find the probability that a customer spends more than twenty dollars. So we already have that. So this is this is basically we already have that probability. What is the probability that a customer spends more than twenty dollars which is seven out of twenty. In question B we have found that. Simplifying that that is seven out of twenty and given that what is this is the given. This is what is called, this is the given probability. Or this is out of. If this is the given probability, what is the probability that the customer is a male who spends $20 or more? So what is that probability? That is 1 out of 12. That is this probability. So, so this probability, you can say, this is the probability of a male who spends more than twenty dollars so basically you have to go one twelfth so one twelfth divided by seven twenty so let me do without a calculator so this is one twelfth divided by seven twenty so I if I change this division to multiplication I have to flip this number so this is one out of twelve times twenty out of seven okay so which is how much which is 20 you can divide so this is 20 divided by 84 okay so now you can divide both by 4 so if you divide this by 4 and this also by 4 so 20 divided by 4 is 5 and this is out of 21 so the probability that a customer is a male who spends more than twenty dollars given that the customer spends more than twenty dollars is five out of twenty one 